Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swish, and I'm here to review the SPY. And I wanted to do this today because, interestingly enough, the market gapped down. And when I first viewed this this morning, I thought, geez, you know, this actually kind of looks like we might drop today, like it's possibly bearish. As it turns out, we didn't fall. Then when I noticed the way the market traded in the morning, I said, wait a minute, this might actually hold and flip. And if it does, it'll be very strong, and that was accurate. I went back then and rated the gap, which I don't normally rate the gap in the market, but you can rate the SPY, the QQQs. You can rate any ETF with my golden gap system as long as it's gapping. So I rated this, it rated 19 points. 20 is the cutoff for something to work in the direction of the gap for my 26-point system, but this really did rate right on the cusp. A 19 is close. Sometimes 19-point rated gaps do work. It's a 50-50. So this didn't today, and it's very interesting because this is an extreme sign of strength to happen to rally the way that we did all day here today. We pretty much power trended all day with a gap down in the market. So I'm going to first look at the daily chart, then I'll look at the one minute. Big move here for the SPY today, okay? Nice, big, beautiful move. Low is 231.61, high is 233.82. Where are we? I mean, we held and gapped down in a baby support and this is a real sign of bullishness in the market. So no matter what we do in here, I think we rally tomorrow. I think if we gap down a little bit, we'll rally. If we gap neutral, we'll rally. If we get up, we'll rally. This looks very strong. I'd be shocked if we gap down anything significant tomorrow in the market after today's rally. It could happen. I won't know in the morning, but this looks very bullish. So all signs point to go higher for the market, which means that we barely even came in hardly at all. Let me just look here at the SPY. So what happened here was dropped, rallied, we went green, set up, fell, bounced, held, held the low, and then took off like a banshee. So this move happened in the morning, in the period, didn't fall, didn't break. But I remember watching this in here, and I remember thinking, gosh, that's odd because I really felt that the way the gap was and looked this morning that if we were going to drop and break, we'd fall off a cliff immediately, five minutes into the open, and we didn't do it. We did not do it. So a lot of strength here in the market, a lot of strength. I mean, to, to fail on a gap down here to go lower, rally all day in power trend, hold, rally up over the 50 pre moving average, I mean, thing after thing after thing after thing. Um, the rating, I mean, all of this tells me that the market is going to lift. Tomorrow's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Finishing out the calendar month of March, we'll see where the market goes. I'm not saying we make a new high before the end of this week. There's only four days left. But I'm saying if buying wants to come in and just go, 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 there's a possibility we could. Once we get over this level here, that red bar and the gap up that failed and ran down all day on this day back last week, I mean, anything's possible. So previous high was 240.32. So nice bullish market today. Email me with, at melissa at thestockswish.com if you have any questions. And if you'd like more information about the next Golden Gap course to learn my method, it's April 8th and 9th. Good luck, everyone, this week. Be very careful. Uh, the bulls stepped up to the plate today. The bears were not in control. I never thought that they were. Um, but there are some people that are short this market, and they're going to get run over. Good luck, everyone. Have a good week.